With the fixed tool post in place, I'm going to make some test cuts. I'm working with a piece of bright mild steel. Unfortunately, I don't know the grade. It's around about 36 millimeter diameter on this section, which is where we're going to be running the cuts. So the first cut will be 0.2 millimeters. I say depth of 0.2 millimeters, so 0.2 millimeters off the radius. And we're running a speed at around about 800 RPM. This will be on power feed. This is geared for 0.13 millimeters per revolution. And you can see there's no lubricant involved. That actually looks quite good. Yeah, it doesn't feel too bad at all. Quite pleased with that. It's not polished, but it is bright mild steel, so we know that doesn't machine the best. The next cut, I'm going to drop the feed rate down to 0.06 millimeters per rep. And go for the same cut, 0.2 millimeter on the radius. It appears to be getting banding, which is actually worse on the slower feed rate. Yeah, that is not as good a finish. Feels okay though. For this cut again, 0.2 millimeters off the radius, I'm actually going to up the speed to 1200 RPM. We'll keep the feed rate at 0.06 millimeters per rev. I'm hoping it's not going to wobble the camera too much. Okay, that's 1200 RPM. Again, that's quite good. Quite good, I am impressed. What we'll do now, we'll keep the same speed, 1200 RPM. Uh, we'll just up that feed rate back to 0 0.13 millimeters per rep. That is significantly better. The best finish I've seen so far. Yeah, that feels much, much better. So what we'll do this time is we'll actually put a very light cut on, which I don't think, which I don't think the carbide will like, but we'll put 0 0.02 millimeters on, so a real light skim. We'll also drop the speed back down to 800. So that is 0 0.02 millimetres, 800 RPM. Not as good a finish as the previous cut. And we do the same depth of cut to 0.02 millimeters at 1200 RPM. Camera is wobbling a little bit, I'll try and steady it with my finger. Yeah, pretty much the same as the previous one. 